How's it going guys? Today's video is going to be on how to install a boost gauge in your car. I actually already have a boost gauge, however, I'm going to be moving the position of the tap. So along the way, I'll just show you how to put in a boost gauge. It's really not that hard. This is actually a base model answer. Let me give you a little cold start here. Evil's all started up, gonna head over to Canadian Tire and see if I can purchase the T that I need along with maybe some metal hose clamps or something so I can correctly attach my boost hose. Um, yeah, other than that, should be a pretty good video. Well, here we are. Let's go to uh, put on the mask. Oh man, if you do not look back at your car, when you walk away from it, you're driving the wrong car. All right, let me show you what I got. I got some goodies. Firstly, I got some, you can't even see that. Firstly, I got some of these just straight through connections to put on the hose that I cut. And secondly, got some tees. Hopefully these will work. But uh, yeah, hopefully they work. It better work. It's not so cold, cold start. If you're wondering, that is EVAP. Start off by getting my uh, tool holder that every Mitsubishi comes with. Nice handy tool holder. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is likely going where I have the tap right now, which is right here cutting the zip ties putting in a t not a t putting in a um little straight through connector that i have tying that back up and then i have this over here which is my actual boost line which goes into my sensor over there and i'm going to tee that instead into this line over here which goes everything is so hot right now because i just got back I'm going to tee into that line, which uh, goes right into my intake manifold. So instead of having a fluctuating pressure over here, because this goes into my boost controller solenoid, I'm going to have hopefully more of a stable reading. So yeah, let's go do that. I haven't decided if I want to pull it off of down there or if I want to pull it off up there. I haven't decided yet. Got pretty much all the tools that I'm gonna need for this. Cutters, zip ties, tees, and the little, I don't know what you wanna call them. So yeah. Oh wait, I need my, I need my stupid boost line. <laughs> now we have everything right there. It's about like an eighth, I think. I think, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, let me find a way to mount this thing up. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. It's gonna be a very tight squeeze. Oh, we're mint, it's gonna work. Now I have to bunch that up. Unless I wanna have a gigantic boost leak. And here we have a nice little T. Honestly, it's so much on there. It's so on there that I don't think that's gonna come off. Even if I don't zip tie it, I don't think that's coming off. Oh, nice and tight. I will fix that with a complete line later on. But I actually do want to test this out. So what I'm going to do here is actually induce a vacuum by blowing on this and checking if my boost gauge can actually read it. So. tried so here is the modified boost tap i added some electrical tape around here so that i can put into this hose over here um my only concern is that it will constrict my diverter valve into how much boost pressure it gets but my other scenario or option rather is to tap into here which goes into my fuel rail and i don't know if i want to impose restrictions in there so we will see 
what happens. Throw the zip tie on that baby. All right, I'm feeling a little bit more confident about that. Theoretically, this should work. Just like that. All right, let's go for a rip and see what happens. Actually, wait, I wanna start it up first and see what happens. So already I can tell you that this is better than before because I actually now have vacuum. Look at that, that's a 20. There you go. Did not have vacuum before because it was only on boost all the time. So gonna go take this for a rip, give it slowly increasingly amounts of boost and see if the wastegate, not the wastegate, and see if the diverter valve freaks out. Cause if it freaks out, then that will not be good. But I hope, hope I hope we'll be all right. Anyways, we'll see. this one up here boost levels are good afrs are still good i'll call this video a w and uh i'll see you guys in the next one hope you enjoyed and learned something of value hope you guys enjoyed this video just wanted to take a second to ask you guys to like and subscribe if you haven't already i've got a cool project going on with this new evo 10 engine that i just got and i'm planning on building it cleaning it up and eventually throwing it in my car so if that's something that interests you make sure to um drop a subscribe and just follow along on the journey if you get bored or the content is not up to your standards then feel free to unsubscribe but hey gotta give it a try i'm also always looking for comments and suggestions for future videos so if there's something that you'd like to see on my channel just drop a comment and i'll do what i can other than that that's it for me so hope you enjoy and take it easy